Hey, how you doing guys? This is Zedai here. So today I wanted to go over everything that was revealed within The Witcher, the next generation update. Now, first of all, there has been a lot of things that have been confirmed and also showcased. And as you can see in the background as well, it does look incredible. I'm very much looking forward to it. I cannot wait for the 14th of December to come any sooner. So I want to highlight all of these additions or features that are going to be available within this game. Game, and they're actually very very good and few of them were actually a bit of a surprise as well so let's get in better visual across the board on the PlayStation 5 comparable to an ultra graphic setting as on a PC version of the game next up is the fully integrated photo mode that's always a big welcome feature okay this is my perhaps my favorite thing a new gameplay camera option, which positions the camera close to Geralt over his right shoulder. And it does have a kind of a similarity to God of War Ragnarok. And man, oh man, this is so exciting. So there's also been mentions of two graphic settings on PlayStation 5. Performance that, in, that unlocks to the 60 FPS or the quality mode you can go with for the 30 FPS with the ray tracing. It is also going to have a full dual sense controller support with haptic feedback and adaptive trigger in the gameplay. New controls for the sign casting. So basically what you need to do is hold down the trigger, okay, and press C grease assigned face button to use signs without having the, to open like a radial kind of menu in the combat. I don't know if I particularly like this feature, but I think it is nice. And I, I want to experiment on this a little bit, see how it works. So of course, this is expected. Much faster loading times on the PlayStation 5 when loading to your game, or perhaps if you want to fast travel. The map now has filters, letting you disable or enable certain icons. I'm not too sure if this was already available there. Again, guys, it's been a very long time since I played The Witcher 3. I thought actually this filter was already there, but it's always nice to have an additional feature. There's also been a small gameplay tweaks and rebalancing throughout the game to be fully detailed, by the way, in the upcoming patch notes. And talking about the patch notes, few things are actually on purpose and can be missing and just so to have a bit of a surprise for us. New walking and running controls, giving you more control over Geralt's movement speed. And so basically this is an optional thing. And if you want, you can simply walk or if you want, you can sprint. Uh, I believe in the 2015 version of The Witcher, all you could do is pretty much kind of jog and you couldn't really walk. But now since you can pretty much walk, it kind of has a sense of immersion within the game. Subtitles can be enlarged or perhaps, well, made smaller as well, depends how you want to go about. You can also now finally pause the game during the cutscenes. I remember this, I remember I had some issues with this, but now since it's available, it's always a welcome feature. Uh, there's been a mention that there will be indeed a simplified Chinese voice acting and localization added, so that's always a welcome feature. Improved localization for other languages on top of that. A hybrid minimap option, which makes the minimap fade away after a set amount of time until you press the focus button again. So it's actually a similar thing that you would have expected from the rest of the newer versions of games. So it's always nice to see this. A new quest inspired by the Netflix's The Witcher series. There hasn't been much uh, mention of it. And of course, guys, do not expect this quest being like a very grand quest. Do expect it to be a smaller scale quest though, but just make sure your hopes are not like through the roof for it. There's going to be new swords, armors, and items that actually has been already teased for these armors. They look incredible. Oh, there's also been a kind of a showcase of an alternative outfit for Dandelion. And yeah, no, no, not for me. I don't like it. It looks weird. <laughs> and last thing has been mentioned that there is going to be a cross safe and a cross progression across all the platforms. And it's always a welcome feature, you know, take the save that you already had on a PlayStation 4 version and transition it towards or, you know, transfer the save to towards the PlayStation 5 version of the game. Again, there's been no mention of the trophies and if all the trophies are going to be popping up as well if you do this a save transfer. But either way, all of these features, all the things that is going to be within the game is a big, big welcome. Do expect to be extra things within the game that they have not mentioned. They have also multiple times said it that, you know, this is not it. There's more to it. And of course, they can be a little bit larger scale things or perhaps smaller. Oh, there's been mentioned as well that there has been some 
uh, bugs fixes, a lot of them mind you, glitches have been fixed as well. And it's always nice to see a more polish towards this game. Alright guys, well that's all was there towards this very cool unique feature going towards you know the next generation of The Witcher 3. I'm definitely looking forward to, to play it finally and uh, just I cannot wait until it comes out in just a few more weeks and it, we're gonna get our hands on it. Alright, do like and subscribe, see you guys all and have a wonderful day. Novgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Means war's coming. War changes everything. By order of the Hierarch, whosoever conceals a mage in their home shall burn alongside him or her. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other, drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. We are at war, and she's in danger. You will find her and bring her to me. She's a child of the Elder Blood. Sinner! I've got to find Ciri. And if you find her, the girl will die. <laughs> Our world will burn! Burn in the eternal fire! Why are you helping her? Because she's a danger, a mortal one, a power that can destroy the world. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. Someone who knows what happened to her. Who are you? You know who I am. A legend cannot be killed, can it? The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Siri. Hold them back! No! I've long awaited this, and you, my truth.